No! My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it. Stay wildin'. My Wildin people, welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with yours truly, your boy Wildin. All right, my Wildin people, it's been a minute. I've been working. Actually, I just came home from work. But take a look at this. Enough of me talking. Let's get right into this, of course. Let's get it. All right, you may be wondering, what exactly is in here? What does Farley have in this box? Well, this is a fishing YouTube, so of course it's gonna be a fish. Do I remember what type of fish? No, because it's been a while because it was really cold up north, so they couldn't send these fish. So let's go inside. Let's see. I tried to move my neck, but I slipped wrong, so it was like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what was going on there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for. What's in this box? I'm right, about to find out together. Okay. Shout out to Aqua Imports. All right, so what I'm seeing right now is six pieces, meaning six fish. Hey, guys, take a look at these. Can't see anything. Oh my god. What is that thing? This thing is massive! Do you guys see this? Oh my god. This is a this is a King Kong puffer. A dragon. A dragon puffer fish. This thing hold is on, massive. Hold it, hold it this way so we can see because it's double bagged. It's double bagged and it's beautiful. Look at that. This hold it closer thing is to you. Hold it closer to you so we can see that. That's so sick. This thing is massive. A lot bigger than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a little smaller. All right, normally these humpback or dragon pufferfish or King Kong pufferfish need about a 55 gallon tank to live their long life. Take a look at what they call it humpback. You guys see that hump right there? We'll take a closer look at it in just a second. But right now I'm gonna acclimate him and make sure he's good to go in this 20 gallon tank. And eventually he'll be moving to this 55 gallon tank once this guy's a little bigger. This thing is massive. <laughs> I did not think, like I said before, that it was gonna be this big. It's crazy. So I'm surprised. All right, what's cool about these is they don't really need gravel. All right, guys, but there's much more fish in here. So I'll set this aside right now. I'll take another look. Oh, look at this. It's a nice little pleco. Oh, there's two of them. What kind of plecos are those, bro? That's a good question. We got there, my man. I can't, I don't even know if it's in here. It's a bag of water. <laughs> it's not, it's, it looks like it, right? That's a very, very plump bag of water. Oh my god, they're in there. The little plecos. We're gonna take a closer look at those in a What? Second. Those are plecos in yeah, that little bag? In there. How small are these plecos? Microscopic. Oh, these and are this the is a pleco. These are the best. These are my favorite. You know what kind of plecos these are? These are king tigers. King tiger plecos for sure. Those things are fire. I think zebra plecos. King tigers. Zebra. zebra. All right, zebra it is. Look at that. You see it? He's a wee little There's baby. Two of wait, them, wait, though. easy, easy, easy. We're trying to see it on the camera. Oh my God, they're so small. There's two of them. Are those royals? No. What are they? I think they might. They're either. I'm not too sure. Let's look at the itinerary. We got humpback dragon puffer, which we saw. Yeah. That's that guy. Yeah. Then we got the new ranger pleco. Then we have clown plecos. Clown. I can't even tell because they're so small. They're so little and minute and microscopic. All right, so this is going to have to have its own Pleco tank. All right, my wild people. Now time for the fun. So open this up. And... Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at the colors on that thing. That's a big puffer fish. That thing is interesting as can be. I see the hump back now. Yeah. He shall be named Quasi. No! We're gonna call him King Kong. Quasi. Guys, comment below and let me know what you guys wanna name him. Quasi. Quasi, really? <laughs> <laughs> you will, I will never forget when you name my fish Nathan, he shall be Quasi forever. This thing is so it. cool. He is not Quasi Moto. The humpback. He's in good condition fish. too. No, he's actually really honestly all jokes aside. Yeah. Terrible yeah. angle. <laughs> but prime. This is cool. So we're gonna acclimate him in his new home. Move this aside. Oh! That was a close one. Alright, I'm coming now. So interesting. 
It's really beautiful fish. He's so interesting. 100%. You like the Quasi. Quasi? His name's not Quasi. Guys, comment below and let me know because his name's not Quasi. He ain't going down like that. This thing is so small. There's two of them. And there's two of these. And one of these. Alright guys, so while our humpback is acclimating, Quasimodo, I don't think so. <laughs> We're gonna take a look at these. This is gonna be our Rangers. There's more than one bag. Nope, I'm just seeing things. Oh my god, one stuck in the bag. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good thing plecos are very hardy. This is microscopic. Is that one alive? Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gonna, whoa. Take a look at that. He's going crazy. These are the rangers for sure. Now that I got a good look at them, I can tell that these are the rangers. They look good though. They look really good. Bring them closer so we can see them. 100%. Really interesting, never seen them before. I haven't seen them either. I thought they were gonna be bigger, but hey, it is what it is. Right, this should be the clowns, should be two clowns. It always like just one that likes to stick in the bag. You just suck in on that bag. Right? Oh, look at that. These are the clowns. Yeah, those are clowns for sure. These are a bit bigger so we can actually touch them. Oh, there's more plastic. That's not good. <laughs> okay, plastic again. Look good though. They look great. Let's hold on. A very hardy fish. Oh, look at that. Look at the patterns on that. It's a clown. It's doing great. Release that one back in there. Last but not least. My the personal zebra. favorite. Is it your favorite? Personal favorite, yes. Why is that? Just because I like this one out of the entire lot. It looks cool. Let's take a look at that. By the way, guys, all these little stringy things, that's poop. If you don't know, now you know. I'm not good with porn. <laughs> oh, this one's really nice. I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. He knows what's going on. Relax, relax, my friend. Just grab him. Put him. Ooh, whoa, he's a feisty one. Take a look at this feisty guy. Still comparison side by side. Oh, okay. He jumped in. Yeah, he didn't want that. <laughs> making things a little difficult. That's gorgeous. cool. Can you get the third one? Ah, uh, that one's gonna die. Hmm. But if I grab it, it's dead. <laughs> That's gonna need some tender loving care. Release that guy. Release that guy. I'm probably gonna put these guys in a, I think in a 10 gallon tank just to allow them to acclimate. And when they're ready, when they're big enough, they're going right here, baby. I actually have, a, I have one right here somewhere. Oh, it's hiding. Oh, where is it? Where, where is it? Oh, there he is. He's hiding. He's right there. I think it's a, a bristle nose on top of the... Are we you see looking? it? Look right on top oh, of it. Yeah, right I there. see him right there. Yep, he's a bristle nose. Yep, bristle nose. Let go. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. All right, my welcome people. So the moment you've been waiting for. It's time to release this dragon, this humpback pufferfish, into its new well, temporary home. What's cool about this dragon pufferfish is it's fully fresh water. And it can grow to be about seven inches, which is why this right here is its temporary home. Well, oh, come take a look at this baby. Is it still alive? Okay. Got me scared for a second. We don't really want it to puff. We also don't want to mix the water. Can we just do a quick scoop? Come on, come on. Scoop him up, he's in. Gonna do a quick transfer. Three, two, one. No puff needed. That's right, no puff needed. Oh, look at this gorgeous boy. That back, so humped. Yeah, humped, humped. 
<gasps> That's his name too, Humpty Dumpty or Quasi. But Quasi. Look. Guys, comment below again and let me know if you should name him Humpty Dumpty or Quasi. <laughs> <laughs> it's back, dude. All right, my walking people, we're gonna leave this guy right here. Gonna give him some tender loving care. See if we can teach him some tricks. Maybe get up close and personal with him and try to do some hand feeding. All right, my walking people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm tired. Till next time, stay wildin'. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about these fish? Has Friday forgotten about them? Stay tuned to the next episode to find out. Help me. Hey, hey you viewer, before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.